What's up everybody? I'm here at the Nug Smasher factory. We're in the hot box here and I want to talk to you today a little bit about surface area, applied pressure, why it's so important and how it all relates to your, uh, to your extraction. So the first thing uh, we want to talk about is bag sizes because that's going to determine your surface area, what size of bag you're using and then how you're using the bags. Now our bags, we kind of make this easy for you because we, we label them in terms of size, three and a half, seven, 14 gram bag sizes. Now we try to advocate everything that we, we do is bottle tech style, which is uh, uh, inverting the bottom corners of the bag, packing the bag cylindrical like all of our videos show you. And that leaves you with a specific surface area for the bag at the end. These are used pucks and, and extracted bags. Um, and I have all of our bags here to kind of show you the difference. So during this, during this video, we're gonna talk about the, the surface area size, assuming that it's all bottle textile, meaning you're packing the bag cylindrical, like I just said, and getting a round puck like this. So to do that, we have to determine what the surface area is at the end, the applied pressure surface area at the end of the pucks. So um, we have that all figured out. It's all calculated in, in the automatic machines. It's, it's, uh, all of our machines have been designed around surface area because we know if you overpressurize, you mix all the plant material that you don't want with all the trichomes and oil that you do want. So um, through this, this process, you can get a, you know very clean, solventless, great, great uh, rosin, great concentrates back, the best. Um, and uh, you know, the same surface area concept that I'm talking to you about works, holds true with hash extraction, square, rectangle, any particular size. So basically, uh, and let me go through our bags a little bit. We have three and a half, uh, seven. We have our X bags, which are right between the 14 and the seven gram bags. And then we have 14 gram bags. Now, just because a three and a half gram bag is a three and a half gram, and this is the bag before, and this is the bag after. Just because this is a three and a half gram bag doesn't mean you have to put exactly three and a half grams in it. You could put, you know, as much as you could fit in it, um, uh, you know, cylindrically, uh, or as little as two grams in it. So anything less than that, uh, like a one gram nug is good to uh, extract right between parchment, and you would use the same applied pressure that you would use on a three and a half gram bag if you were doing that. So for example, you know, the name of the bag is just a, a generality of what you can put in it. Now, if you do put two and a half, uh, two grams in this bag versus five grams in it, you're gonna apply the same pressure between the plates because the surface area that it's gonna leave at the end is gonna be the same size, regardless of the amount that's in the bag. If you pack it like we advocate bottle textile. So there's been a misconception about that. Let me go through that once again using a 14 gram bag as an example. 14 gram bag like this one you see here is just an example of how much you can put in it. You could put as little as eight, eight or nine grams in it and as much as probably 20 grams into, in it, depending on the density and, and, uh, or, or the non-density of the material that you're using. So it's just a baseline. Now, no matter what, if it's eight grams or 20 grams, you're gonna apply the same pressure in between the plates. Same exact pressure, this will give you a consistent extraction. So if you're getting 10% um, uh, back off the eight grams or 20% back off the eight grams that you put in, you should get the same percentage off of uh, 20 grams applying the same pressure. As long as you can close the top of the bags, uh, like a little present, you're, you're solid in, in terms of the amount of uh, material you can put in there. Now, the thing that can drastically make a big difference is if the bag folds over, if it doesn't come down like an accordion straight down between the plates, if you don't line it up straight. These things can make a bigger overall surface area at the end and more of an oval. So the more that your surface area grows, uh, uh, the you have to adjust that adjust for that between the plates so um, all of our units come to work with our bags and they're set up to work with our bags all the way down from the mini and the the OG and then we get into the the OG here and then we get into the XP which starts to measure pressure uh, mechanically and then in the pro touch and then our newer machines are all digital pressure 
So, you know, when you go and select on the Pro, the Pro Touch, for instance, a three and a half gram bag, it's automatically adjusting the pressure that it's gonna put between the plates based on your target material PSI. So, you know, for an example, and you can see this through our Nug Smasher app online, the calculator tool, okay? So you can go to the calculator tool and look at the difference between an XP and a Pro. They're different because the ram sizes are different. The hydraulic pressure in there is different to create the same pressure between the plates. So to keep all of this, I know this can be very complicated for everybody, but to keep all of it very simple, pack your bags bottle tech style um, and, and uh, the 14 gram bag uh, gives you a surface area of 4.9 square inches. The X bag gives you a surface area of four square inches. The uh, seven gram bag gives you a surface area of 3.14 square inches. The three and a half gram bag gives you a surface area of 1.76 square inch. So just under two square inches. So you can see that this is an X bag. It's four square inches. This is a uh, three and a half gram bag. It's under two square inches to get the same extraction on the same material out of this, meaning the same percentage of yield back, you need to apply the, the same material PSI. So we can adjust that material PSI on our calculator tool online and say, you know, it's 600 material PSI is what I extracted a three and a half gram bag and I got just fire back. So I wanna put, you know, do a larger batch. I wanna put 600 material PSI on this, on this X bag, and that'll give me the same exact result, the same quality of concentrate back. So that's really how surface area breaks down. You know, you need to know how much the end surface area between the plate is. That's why when we're doing a hash extraction or something uh, of that nature, uh, we can come over here and we can say, hey, it's gonna be a one and a half inch by a four inch, you know, for example, rectangle that I'm gonna end up with. That's how I'm packing it. That's how I'm packing my hash. But it'll then give us a six a square inch surface area here. And then we could say, okay, I wanna apply only 200 material PSI because I know that that's what really works good with my hash extractions. Or I wanna do a ramp mode extraction. I wanna start at uh, 150 and I wanna end at 300 material PSI over the course of five minutes. You can also do that on these machines. But the bottom line is you can easily ruin your concentrates by adding too much pressure. You can easily add bag blowouts by having too much pressure. This is why the, being able to source your pressure and knowing exactly what you're putting on your material is absolutely imperative to good consistent yields and, and good consistent product. So anyway, I hope that's helped clear some things up. Guys, remember our customer service is always available to help. I'm always here available to help uh, you as a customer. So seven days a week, our customer service is open. You can give them a call on the phone. You can go to nugsmasher.com. You can chat with them. Um, our dealers also have the same uh, 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 support with them seven days a week. So you can do that at any time. If you're, you're having troubles or don't understand something, we will help you understand it um, to get the very best results out of the Nug Smasher machines. Hey guys, until next time, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Hope this has been informative. Please like, subscribe, tell a friend for God's sakes. Um, we're always here to help and we appreciate the support.